All right, what is going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power, and I sat down on my computer just now to get some work done for you guys and make a video. Um, and sure enough, as I sat down and checked my feed, there's yet another big breaking bodybuilding story happening right now. Um, so we finally know which category Hadi Japan is going to be competing in, or Hadi Chupin, as people prefer me to pronounce his name. So his coach, Hani Rambod, put up a post on the Evagen Nutrition Instagram page um, announcing that Hadi will actually be competing in the men's open bodybuilding category of the Olympia. Now, this is something I discussed in my last video about Hadi um, because of the prize money incentive is much, much greater in men's open bodybuilding um, than in the 212 division. Hadi is very, very good for 212. He's got the stature, he's got the height, he's got the size. Although some people say he weighs and he's a little bit too heavy for 212. Um, he's shrunk down to 212 before. But I think overall, um, Hadi will be a very dominant force to be reckoned with in men's open bodybuilding. And the point that I made in my last video about Hadi, when I was speculating which category he was going to compete in, men's open bodybuilding pays way more than 212. Last year, the winner of 212, I believe, got $40,000. And last year, fifth place at the Men's Open Mr. Olympia, which was Brandon Curry, by the way, um, took home, I believe, $45,000. So fifth place in Men's Open Bodybuilding gets you paid more than winning the overall 212 Mr. Olympia. Um, so the question really was, is Hottie's incentive just to get that Mr. Olympia title regardless of which division it's going to be in? Um, because I think even though Hadi, I think he's going to do very well in men's open bodybuilding. I really do believe that. Um, but I think it would be a stretch to say he would win the Olympia in open bodybuilding. However, I don't think it would be a stretch to say that Hadi would win the 212 Mr. Olympia. So it's really just a question of, you know, how big of a risk he wants to take and how much money he wants to make. So apparently he's going out on that limb and he's going to compete in men's open bodybuilding, which I think is going to be fantastic. I think it's going to make men's open bodybuilding much more exciting to kind of have a wild card like Hadi in the mix um, that nobody really expected to see there. I think it's a level of excitement that we need, you know, now that we know we're not having Sean Roden. We're not having Big Rami. We're not having Phil Heath. We're not having Kai Green. We're not going to have any of these random guys, any special invites, any random guys showing up. It's not going to happen. So that excitement at one week out is gone. Um, but having a new guy, a brand new guy in that category announced that one week out, I think is very exciting and very cool. Um, and I think Hadi's going to do very well. I do think Hadi will be top six at the 2019 Mr. Olympia. And I think he's going to change everybody's predictions. I think everybody um, that predicted Hottie wouldn't be there and didn't put him in their men's open Mr. Olympia predictions, I think everybody has to change their top six because I think Hottie will certainly be a top six guy. You know, I think there's a possibility he could be higher than top six. I think top four, top three maybe. Um, but I think, you know, likely Hottie is going to crack that top six. Um, and probably, you know, piss off a lot of guys that are men's open bodybuilders uh, by being at this year's Mr. Olympia. But that being said, I had one more Olympia announcement that I wanted to make. Sean Roden will actually be at my booth at the Olympia. This is going to take place on Friday. I believe we agreed on like one o'clock for a two hour window on Friday. Sean Roden will be at my booth at the Expo. Um, again, it's in the back of the Expo Hall, the Nick Strength and Power booth. Um, it's right in front of the Expo stage. So I'm very excited to announce that. I think that's going to be very, very cool. Um, so give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please stop by my booth and see me at the Olympia. Please subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed already. And as always, Nick Strength and Power, signing out.